Hello guys, today I will show you one interesting concept of routing based on nativephp.com website code, which is open source on GitHub. And side note, I know it's Laravel 11 already out, and some of you may expect the video, but I'm still working on that. I'm trying to be not the first to talk about new versions, but spend a bit more time on a better video. So that's coming in a few days. But for now, we're looking at nativephp.com website, which I cloned locally, and it looks like this. Documentation website, I mean. The homepage looks like this, and if you click get started, interesting things happen. So the URL is slash docs slash one, and then the actual URL you land on is this. So how does that magic happen? And this is the routes with page here, and page here, and controller here, and some redirects and interesting logic. So I thought to showcase you this code, it would be useful for any of you who would build especially the documentation page like this one, or any website that require versioning with information. First, credit to the authors of native PHP website and native PHP in general, but in this case, we're talking about not the tool, but the website of that. So Simon Hamp, and Marcel Posiot are the top contributors along with a few others. Now let's dive into the code and see the logic. First, what happens if I go to slash docs slash one? It is covered by this route get. So docs one, that page with question mark is optional. And there are also a few checks that page can be anything, a string, but version needs to be a number. So I cannot go to docs slash ABC, that would be considered a page. And then I land on a controller, which is a single action controller, invocable controller with invoke method, with a bit more logic about routing. Now, the docs themselves are not in the database, as you can see, resource path, views, docs, and then version. And the docs are here on the left sidebar. For example, if we go to getting started and open installation, for example, it's a markdown file, which is then parsed by markdown tools. But basically, if you don't have that file in the resources views, then Laravel shows 404 not found page. And then if the page is null, which is null in our case, there's a separate method called redirect to first navigation page. So if we navigate to that, it's quite a big method with collection filtering, looking for key and getting the first page that fits. I will not explain it in detail in this video. I will link the source code in the description below. What you need to understand though, is the logic that route points to the controller and then controller builds the URL if it's not present and then redirects to the appropriate page. And then also in the routes, you see slash docs slash page, which is without version. So for example, even if I go just to slash docs, where it would redirect to the same page. So it would automatically get the version to version one, then redirect to docs one, and then I would land here and I would be redirected again to version one getting started page. Also, they're playing with refer. I guess that's for the future when they have version two or three. For now, latest version is still one. So some string operations with getting the version correctly. So yeah, what do you think about this example of routing, flexible routing with redirects to the correct version and correct default page? Would you have done something differently? Let's discuss in the comments below. And also on this channel, I will shoot a few more videos about that native PHP website because I see interesting solutions like Spotty Laravel menu package to build this menu on the left, like caching solution and a few more. So subscribe to the channel to not miss those videos along with the ones about Laravel 11. I'm planning to shoot quite a few about new functions and changes. So again, subscribe and see you guys in other videos.